Hi, I'm Dr. Celine from the Department of Computer Science at the University of Manitoba. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to search for information on the Piazza Discussion Forum. So this is the forum for Comp 1010 from fall 2020, and there are tons and tons and tons and tons of messages on here, um, almost a thousand messages over the course of the semester. So it can be hard to find the information you want, and it's important to keep up to date with information that's pertinent to your assignments and tests and so on. So one of the things that you can do is use the folder structure of Piazza to help narrow your searching. Um, so you know that when you post on Piazza, you have to choose a folder, which is almost like tagging the post with a particular topic, like whether it's related to textbook exercises or labs or a test or a particular assignment. You can use those to filter when you're looking at posts on Piazza. So if you were working on assignment two, you could click on the assignment two folder up here and you see that that then filters all of the posts. So now you're only seeing posts that are related to assignment two, and that can help you. This can actually be a really good thing to look at when you start working on assignment two to see what other people have already said and posted about the assignment and how instructors and other students have responded. So the little orange box that's over at the side here says that the instructor has answered. The gray box says how many different sort of responses and edits have been made on the question. And a green box indicates that a student has answered. So if we look at this particular thing, we see that somebody posted a question here, a student answered, and then an instructor also answered, and there's been a follow-up that was marked as resolved. So there's lots of different things that can happen in these um, different posts. And if you see a green box that has a check mark on it, that means that an instructor has endorsed an answer. Okay. So you can also search just by typing in a term. So you could just search by typing in plane. And there was an assignment four, which had stuff about moving a plane around the screen. And so now you can see here are questions where somebody talked about the plane. And so you could read those. Um, but if you wanted to search for something that's a little bit more general, like if you search for the term variable, you'll see that there are tons and tons and tons and tons of, of posts that have that word in it. Um, and if you're working on a particular assignment and you're having trouble with the variables, you can narrow things down by typing folder, colon, and then assignment, um, and let's do assignment four, and then search. So now we've got answers that are about assignment four that have the term variable in them. And so that helps you narrow down your search. So we recommend you, you make use of this syntax, folder colon, and then the folder name, and then search for what you're looking for. Um, maybe you can put in variable or constant. You can put in different terms up here. And now we've got another um, response here in the answers. So you can also put in things that have something to do with, um, you can put phrases in quotes like, um, won't compile things like that. Um, no results found for that assignment with won't compile. But so if you need to have a phrase, you put it in quotations. So make use of these search approaches to find things that are relevant to what you're doing before you post a question. Um, if you post a question that has already been answered, it's just wasting everybody's time and it's kind of annoying to people to have to try to answer it again or to find the relevant post to point you to. So you should do your own work and search for Piazza first before you post a question. All right, good luck. Thanks. Bye.